If you can see my screen, can you um, let me know on the chat? Give me a yes on the chat if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Just give me a yes on the chat, okay? If you can see my screen. Yes, yes, we can see it. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, good evening once again and welcome to today's meeting. And um, basically today's meeting, I'm going to show you how to trade on PancakeSwap, okay? Um, if you know how to trade on PancakeSwap, you can trade on any other swapping or decentralized exchange out there, okay? There are hundreds of decentralized exchange out there. We have Uniswap, we have Sunshine Swap, we have Cherry Swap, you know, all the swapping platform. <laughs> They are all there, okay? So on PancakeSwap, um, PancakeSwap is built on the Binance Smart Chain Network, okay? Um, so every trade or tokens that is traded there means that it is supported by the Binance Smart Chain um, Network, right? So to be able to trade, remember in our previous meeting, I actually showed you how to activate, um, how to create your MetaMax and wallet, and the reason why I say, uh, I probably showed you in that uh, meeting how to add other networks to it, how to add the Binance Matching Network, how to add the Polygon Network, and you know all other networks you want to use. Instead of creating different centralized, um, um, decentralized wallet address with different phrase keys and password for all of these different platforms, you can use Metamax to hash all of them, okay? I make it easier for you, so. Um, that video is on YouTube. If you have not seen it, you go and see it. Once you create your account, you need to add your MetaMask, uh, your Binance Smart Chain network to your MetaMask. With that, you can connect it to your PancakeSwap swap and you can start trading with it, okay? So what I will do is to disconnect my wallet from this um, PancakeSwap, swap, okay? And then go to the homepage. If you come to PancakeSwap, swap, whether you're using your phone or you're using the web version, uh, when you go to PancakeSwap, this is what the homepage looks like, okay? So we are going to do all of that using the desktop version of it, the web version of it. Uh, but if you want to do this on your web, on, on your app, if you want to do it on your phone, then you need a wallet called Trust Wallet, okay? When you have Trust Wallet, you don't need to bother yourself about Panky, um, Metamax anymore. Have a Trust Wallet. Um, create your, save your phrase key somewhere, create a password, and then from Trust Wallet, you can access Package Swap. When you access Package Swap, you can use it to trade, okay? Uh, let us focus on the web version of it, and maybe um, in a different meeting, we'll do the mobile aspect of it. So I'm going to show you how to trade, how to, you know, do buying and selling on the Package Swap platform, okay? So to be able to do this, the same thing I'm showing you here, you can use it on any other trading exchange, any other this, um, um, decentralized exchange you want to use, apply it, okay? So once you go to PancakeSwap.Finance, what you need to do is to connect your wallet. And uh, to connect your wallet, I'll just click on it. You can connect your MetaMask, you can use your wallet connect, okay? If you click on this wallet connect, it gives you um, this um, QR code. Okay, with this on my package swap, I can just scan this and connect it uh, on my, if I'm using Trust Wallet, I can just scan this and connect it directly, but I'm not gonna use this uh, wallet wallet uh, connect. So I click on the connect wallet again, we can use Metamax, we can use Trust Wallet, or we can use, uh, you know, there are other ones called Mart Wallet, we have Binance Smart Chain, we have the Coin98, uh, we have the safe uh, pal and stuff like that. So they lot all of these you can use it to connect to package swap. But I'm going to use the Binance chain wallet, okay? The Binance chain wallet. Um, but if you have added your, um, just like I showed you in the previous meeting, if you have added your Binance smart chain to your MetaMask, you can just go ahead and click or use the MetaMask and then change the network to the Binance smart chain since you are, I showed you everything, how to switch those, all of that in the previous meeting. So here I'm going to connect my Binance um, chain wallet. So I would just go ahead and click because I'm logged in already. It just, you know, connect automatically, okay? So once we connect, the next thing we want to do is to come in here to trade and go to exchange. This is where we can be swapping um, from Binance, okay? From BNB to any token that we want to trade. Now, if you want to trade any token here, the first thing is to look for that token that you want to trade. There are a lot of token, on coin market card that are not listed on your centralized exchange. 
You cannot trade them on any exchange. One of the tokens that you can trade only on PancakeSwap for now is called Lucky Block. How many of us have bought Lucky Block? You know, if you have bought Lucky Block when I recommended it, you should be, you know, making a lot of gain from that. So I'll go ahead and search for that um, token called Air Block. So it is L Block. This is a Lucky Block token. And uh, right now it's trading at 0 0.006. As at the time I recommended it, it was 0 0.003001 or there about and stuff like that. So right now from the pre-sale, it was, you know, uh, four zeros that are there about. So right now it's making a lot of money. And if I come here to where this market, you see that we can trade this on package swap. The centralized exchange where this was listed recently is L Bank. Okay, so aside that, you can trade it on um, Open Ocean, you can trade it on um, Package Swap and the rest. So, this is the token we want to trade. So, to be able to trade this token on Package Swap, the first thing we need to do is to copy the contract address. This is based on the Binance Matching Network. As you can see here, you are seeing Binance Matching close um, logo um, close next to the contract address. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and copy the contract address. Now that I've copied by clicking on this, the contract address, I'll come back to Banking Swap. And here, um, which token do you want to be trading this with? Okay, if it is BNB, means that you need to have BNB in your wallet. If I come in here and click on my Binance wallet, okay, you need to have BNB on this, your smart chain wallet, okay? So if I want to deposit BNB, all I just need to do is to copy this address, uh, okay? I just copy this address and then go to my exchange and send BNB here. If it is BUSD, I want to receive, okay? I can just select BUSD and then come in here to where it says receive, copy the address here, go to your exchange and send BUSD to this address and you will receive it here, okay? So if I want to trade BUSD against any other token, all I just need to do is select the token I want to trade and by coming here and then click on the, BUSD, okay, if it is BNB, I'll go ahead and select BNB. Whatever token that you want to trade there, just go ahead and select that token, okay? So in this case, I want to use BUSD. And the next token I want to trade it for will be my um, L, this lucky block token, okay? I just copied the contract address here, okay? And then come in here and paste the, that contract address here, okay? So once I paste the contract address, the token is coming up. I already added it to my wallet, okay? If you don't have it, it will ask you to import and it will give you a notification. Just go ahead and click on I understand and just click on import and it will add up that to your wallet, okay? Um, let me look for another token that has not been added to my wallet and see how I can add that to my wallet. Um, there is this token of recent that I've been seeing. I've not added that. Um, that token is called, let me search for it. I think it's baby, baby Lambo, baby, baby Lambo or so. Okay. Baby Lambo, baby Lambo Inu. That is the name of the token. And the token has been doing very well. Oh, it has actually dropped from what it was before. So this is equally based on the Binance Matching Network. Okay. I just copy the contract address. Let me just show you. So if I come in here to Banking Swap and paste, that address here, okay? So it will pull up this. Once, once it pull up the, the, the coin, the token, as you can see here, I'll just go ahead and click on import. Here, this warning will come up and all you just need to do is to click on, I understand and just click on import. So once you import it, you'll see the baby Lambo is showing up here, okay? And um, if I want to buy now, let's say I want to buy BUSD, um, baby Lambo worth 100, BUSD. I just go ahead and put in a hundred BUSD here. So it's telling me now that to buy a hundred BUSD of this baby Lambo is going to give me about um, this is a hundred and is it hundred sixteen? Uh, I think it's sixteen thousand of this token. Okay, so I'm going to get sixteen thousand of this token. And the next thing I need to do is just to go ahead and click on swap. Okay, I just go ahead and click on swap. Once I swap it, they will give you the details of how much you are going to get and what you are buying it at, at, the, at the rate, okay? And uh, price update, once you see this notification, just go ahead and click on accept, okay? So these are the details you are going, just click on confirm. And once I click on confirm, 
it will pull up. Um, okay, if you have um, a notification like this, if you are trying to trade and you're having a notification like this, this has to do with the slippage. Okay, so to adjust that, I'll just go ahead and click on dismiss. And to adjust that, I'll come back here and click on this setting icon, right? So on the setting icon here, you just have to make the slippage a bit higher. Okay, so I'll come in here and put 10, for instance, because by default it is using the slippage tol tolerance that is using here is 0.1 by default or 0.5 or 1.0. So I'll, I'll just put 10 here. Once I put 10, um, I'll go back again to try it again. So here, I'll come back here to swap it again and then click on confirm. So if you still have that notification again, just dismiss, keep adjusting this until it works out for you, okay? Um, so I can come in here and make it 15, right? So I'll make it 15 and then click on swap again. Once I click on swap, I just go ahead and accept the price update, okay? And then click on confirm. You can see because I added 15. So keep adjusting the number until you see what works for you, okay? Um, now it has um, accepted it. So if I go ahead and click on confirm, we are going to buy that PB Lambo of 100 BUSD, okay? So we are going to buy that. All I just need to do is to, to confirm. If I confirm that, um, that will automatically be confirmed and I will buy that token into my wallet, right? So once I buy that token into my wallet, if I want to trade back the token into BUSD or BNB, all I just need to do is to take note of the price at which I bought it, okay? The price currently, as at the time of, you know, having this meeting with you and carrying out this trade is around 0 0.00591, okay? It means that for me to be able to trade this and make profit from it, if I have to trade this and make profit from it, it needs to get either to, you know, 0 0.07, um, or eight or there about for me to be able to make profit from it. If you want to find out more about the, this project, okay, you can come in here and uh, go to their website. You see their website here, okay, baby, lamboino.io. You can go to their website and check out more about that. I can come in here to the statistics. Let's see more about this token. The maximum supply is going to be about 600,000, okay? 600,000. And then the circulating supply is about 540,000 already, okay? This is the circulation already. And then the all-time high was like 15 days ago. All-time high is uh, about 15 days ago, and this went to 0 0.036, okay? So it has dropped about, um, you know, 83%. And then the all-time low was about 19, 19 hours ago or there about which is what the price is currently trading at, right? So this is what the price is currently trading at. You can buy it, and um, if you believe in this project, go ahead and make your research, okay? If you believe in this project, you can actually go ahead and buy it. Right now, if I go to the market here, you see that this token has not been listed on any centralized exchange at all. It has not been listed on any exchange at all, so it is only trading on the, Bina on the package swap platform. Right? So buying this token, if it is listed, if for any reason it is listed in an exchange, okay, you have a chance of selling this token at a higher price, right? So once you buy these tokens here, if you want to withdraw it, let's say, um, if eventually this token is listed in an exchange, all you just need to do is to come withdraw it from this, your wallet, okay? You come in here to your wallet. Um, if I go back to my wallet here, Let's assume that I've bought it already. You come in here to your wallet and just click on send, okay? You click on send, you just put in the address from the exchange where it is listed, put in the address and then put in the amount and just send, and it will be forwarded to that exchange. From that exchange, you can trade it for your, or uh, whatever you want to trade it. But if it is not listed, if it is listed on exchange that you don't have an account with, and the price goes up more than what you bought it, okay? All you just need to do is to come here to Pancake Swap and then swap it. So this time around, you'll be um, trading the B, uh, um, the baby uh, Lambo Inu, the baby Lambo Inu or whatever token, you are not trading it as for BUSD. So all you just need to do is to come in here, click on max, and then just go ahead and click on swap. And when you swap, once it is confirmed, those money will be returned to you in BUSD. Basically, that is how it is to trade, you know, on package swap. So the same thing I showed you on how to do that on package swap using the swapping method, you can do it on uh, um, 
on Uniswap, you can do it on Cherry Swap, you can do it on Sunshi Swap, any swapping platform out there that you have come across, you can do use the same method. The first thing is to have the wallet connected, and after that, fund your wallet and then use it to be able to trade on that platform. So I believe that is seven. Um, you understand what I believe you understand what I just explained. So if you do, fine, but if not, uh, maybe your question will help me throw more light on what you don't understand. So go ahead and ask your questions now. Okay, you can use the chat section or just unmute yourself to ask your questions. 